Okay, so before I my battery runs out, I'm going to show you what I did today. I started with a blank piece of cardstock, white, and then I used some of my new Distress Spray Stains. I used, well, it's a mess, but I used some stamps <laughs> and some stencils. I used my Distress Inks both the oxide and the regular. Um, yeah, and I made some tags so and flowers, so here's what I ended up with. First I did a paper just, you know, with the stains and stuff all over it. This is spatter so that I didn't get a mess everywhere. So this is extra. Um, but here are the tags. So... You can see I did the stains first and the oxides, the pigment in the oxides comes through when you squirt water on it and then heat it. So it doesn't matter how many layers you have, it keeps coming up, which is very cool. And then you can see my stenciling. Um, I did a yellow background and then added on to it. And then when I was done with the inks and stuff, I stamped it uh, with oxide ink. I wet it to give it a smudgy look and then I spray uh, dried it and then I after I had that it was just one whole sheet um, and then I cut them out uh, using my embossing machine my die cutter machine and then I stitched around them I've been practicing stitches and widths and lengths and all that so yeah it was fun uh, I cut out some flowers with the extra paper Here's a little tag. And then this one was a square and I decided, uh, I watched this sh uh, video where you can take a page and put the paper like the corners like that in the lower right and upper left corners and then you can stick, you know, something inside of it like so. Like that. That's the idea behind it anyway. So that's what I'm gonna do. I cut it in half, I did a square, I cut it in half, I stitched it, and uh, I'm going to use that in a journal. Yeah, fun! Okay, I hope you're having fun on the Bay Bridge. I love you guys.